Ay, 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 every time you watch the news or you open the paper, all you hear about is the economy this and the economy that. Ladies and gentlemen, the whole world's falling apart and all we can do is sit back and watch it burn. What's up, guys and pals? It's your boy Vino Valentino, and welcome back to 60 Second Cocktails. Ladies and gentlemen, Vino is here to tell you that while money is important and you should get as much of it as you possibly need, it's just as important to remember if you've got your health, your family, your friends, and all your marbles, that you, my friend, have achieved true wealth. Now, if scratching lotto tickets or hopes of hitting the big time is your thing, then I've got two cocktails that might just scratch that itch for you. Now, the first cocktail is called the Millionaire Cocktail. Now, while over the years, many cocktails have used the name Millionaire, this particular recipe comes to us from The How and When Cocktail Book by Hyman Gale and Gerald F. Marco, first printed in 1938. Now the second cocktail is a bit of a uh, inflationary version of the millionaire cocktail. This one is called the billionaire cocktail. And this recipe was adapted from the book Speakeasy by Jason Cosmas and Deshaun Zarek, which features cocktails from New York City bar employees only. All right, folks, well, there you have it. Two cocktails that hopefully make you feel like Daddy Warbucks. But if not, folks, just make sure you count your blessings and then stick around because we are going to boogie down. All right, folks, like I said, the first cocktail we're going to make is called the Millionaire Cocktail. And let's look at what is in the sauce, right? The first thing we're going to need is two ounces of your favorite bourbon. I'm going to use Bullet, which as many of you may know is my favorite uh, bourbon to use in cocktails. All right. Next thing we're going to do is uh, three quarters of an ounce of Grand Marnier, which is one of my absolute favorite of the cores. So very excited to be using this little thing, right? Next thing we're gonna do is something that's actually not a favorite of mine, but it is called for in the cocktail, so we'll see how it all turns out. And that is a quarter ounce of absinthe, all right? So let's go ahead and use our little absinthe here. I'm gonna be using a Mephisto. All right, there we go. I don't hate absinthe. I just never been a big fan of like that kind of licorice flavor. Never been, you know, those black licorices the old guy used to give you, uh, you know, on Halloween. He's like, what are you giving me this? I want a Snickers bar. <laughs> anyway, folks, we're gonna do now a half an ounce of lemon juice, all right? All right, so it's a half an ounce of lemon juice. And then we're gonna do a quarter ounce of grenadine, all right? You could use the homemade stuff, or you could use the bottle stuff. I really like Lieber and Cole's grenadine stuff. It's delish. Very close to real stuff. All right, beautiful. Now, this is a, uh, uh, an egg white cocktail, so we're going to add one egg white, right? And then what we're going to do is we're not going to do any ice here. We're going to do what's called the dry shake. You probably know what that is. If you don't, that means we shake it with no ice, and we do that to emulsify the egg, all right? So just give that a nice, healthy shake without, uh, without any ice, all right? All right, so now once you've given that a nice healthy shake with no ice, you're going to add the ice. Now, the amount of time that you shake it with no ice, you know, the, the, people argue it should be 30 seconds, two minutes, a minute. You know, I tend to go for about 30 seconds to a minute, you know? Um, now we're gonna add ice to the shaker. And what this is gonna do now is more or less chill the cocktail. All right. And for this, we'll just do 10 to 15 seconds as usual. All right, we gave that a nice healthy shake. Let's go ahead and get our glass out. We'll be serving that in the coupe, which has been chilling like a villain. And then I'm going to go ahead and double strain that into my glass. All right, it looks good. Oh, that's beautiful, folks. Look at that. So we got ourselves a nice healthy wash line and we should be getting some pretty foam out of this. And um, what you're gonna do now is you're just gonna garnish that with some nutmeg. You could use a uh, fresh nutmeg like I'm using here, or you can use this stuff out of a bottle. It doesn't, don't let anybody tell you differently, you know? If you can't find this stuff, you don't use it, all right? So let's go ahead and do some fresh nutmeg. All right, now that's gonna add some nice aromas to the cocktail, which is always nice, all right? So be liberal about it, all right? I have a nice amount of stuff there. All right, folks, so there you go. That is our Millionaire Cocktail. All right, folks, so now we're gonna go ahead and make the billionaire version of this cocktail. Now, the difference between these two is that there's no egg white in the billionaire version, there's no Grand Marnier in the billionaire version, but what they do is they add a high proof bourbon 
and then they add a little more grenadine and they add some simple syrup. So it's, it could be potentially a sweeter cocktail, but the uh, high proof bourbon kind of helped to balance that out a little bit, right? So let's go ahead and see what it ends up tasting like, right? So the first thing we're gonna do is two ounces of a high proof bourbon. I'm gonna be using resurgent bourbon, which was given to me by my pal, uh, Matt and his wife, Sparkle. Cheers to you folks. We're gonna do two ounces of this. Of course, you guys can use any high proof bourbon that you have if you don't have friends like Matt Sparkle. <laughs> anyway, folks, next thing we do is a quarter ounce of absinthe again. All right, this stuff will last me forever because I never use it. Um, like I said, it's not my favorite thing in the world, absinthe, but this particular one I actually do enjoy. It's not too much of that licorice flavor. It actually kind of emphasizes the cinnamon flavors a little more. So, you know, a little more of my alley, I guess, you know. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is one ounce of lemon juice, all right? So you see the uh, the specs are also different in terms of like the ratios of stuff. So I'm really interested to see how that works out. Now, Employees Only is a fantastic bar in New York City. So I imagine stuff is gonna taste absolutely delicious, all right? Now we're gonna do a half an ounce of simple syrup. Now this is a two for one. So I'm only gonna use a half, is it, is it, is it a two to one simple syrup? So I'm only gonna use a half an ounce. But if you're using like your regular one to one simple, you're gonna use a whole, um, I'm sorry. I'm only gonna use a quarter ounce of this. If you have the regular simple, you wanna use a full half ounce, all right? So I'm using a quarter ounce of my simple because it's only, because it is a two to one. I haven't even started drinking yet, folks, and I already sound like I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, <laughs> now we're gonna do a half an ounce of grenadine, all right? There we go. And since there is no egg white in this bad boy, we're just gonna add some ice and shake it. Shake what our mama gave us. All right. I'm gonna shake that for about uh, 10 to 15 seconds. Now that we've given that a nice healthy shape, we're gonna pour that into our glass, which was chilling like a villain. You see that beautiful frost there? And uh, let's double strain that bad boy. All right. All right, so once again, we're gonna have ourselves a nice healthy wash line. You can see, it's, uh, I'll put them next to each other in a second. They're very, very different looking cocktails. You know, one is much pinker and, and uh, you got the head, the froth on top, which is the uh, the millionaire cocktail. And this one has just a kind of a nice pink hue, but it looks more like, like a daiquiri or something like that, all right? Now we're just gonna go ahead and garnish that with a uh, dehydrated lemon wheel. And there we have it folks, our billionaire cocktail. All right, folks, now let's go ahead and give both of these bad boys a sippy sip and see what they're all about. We're gonna start with the millionaire cocktail. We'll start uh, low first. <laughs> and uh, this is the one that, again, has egg white. Uh, you got the nutmeg on top. It's a very pretty cocktail. I mean, it's a quite beautiful looking cocktail, right? Cheers. Yeah, so right on the nose, you're picking up the nutmeg and you're also picking up some absinthe. So I'm expecting some, uh, some absinthe in this cocktail. Cheers. Mm. That's very nice, guys. I gotta tell you, not a huge fan of absinthe, but this has a nice kind of balanced use of it. It's, it doesn't overwhelm the cocktail. It's definitely the, I would, you know, the pronounced flavor in this. That's the thing about absinthe. That's why I guess I've never been a fan of it because it can't overwhelm a cocktail. But in this particular cocktail, especially with the richness of the egg white and the nutmeg adding like a nice kind of like, um, you know, nutty flavor to it, uh, you know, a seasonal flavor to it, uh, aromas to it. It just has a very, very nice taste. This is a very nice tasting cocktail, folks. Mm. Oh yeah. You know, this is one of those cocktails where the egg white definitely helps because it helps to kind of cream, like make a little more of a creamy texture, helps to smooth out the cocktail a bit. I gotta tell you, I like that, I like that a lot. Now, now we're gonna do the billionaire cocktail. Um, and this does not have the egg white, doesn't have nutmeg, but what it does have is a higher proof uh, bourbon, a little more lemon juice to kind of balance out the sweetness. Uh, so a little simple syrup, which the other one did not have. Let's see what it's all about. Cheers. Mm. Very different cocktails. Also very good. I think in this one, the absent definitely is a little more pronounced. Uh, because it, has, it doesn't have the egg cream there, the egg cream, that's, a, that's an old New York City thing. It doesn't have the egg white in it to kind of help, you know, maybe uh, like, you know, smooth things out a little bit. 
the absence is a little more pronounced, but not in an obnoxious way. I mean, I could definitely uh, uh, taste it. I could definitely deal with it here. It's not horrible. I think it's better here. Um, this might be a little more of a balanced cocktail, but I think I like the way this one tastes just a little more. Yeah, I, I, this is this is a, 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 a more a more pleasant cocktail. I think it does lack a little in complexity, even with the Grandma Ye in there. Well, this one does offer the complexity, but it's also a little more in your face, especially because of the high proof bourbon and uh, the fact that there's no egg white there to kind of smooth things out. So both of them, I, I actually like them a lot. Definitely bearable for me in terms of absinthe. Um, you know, if anything, I actually think the absinthe works really well in these cocktails. So um, look, I, do I feel richer after this? I can't say I do. <laughs> but you know what? I've never felt poor because I've got a beautiful family, great friends. I've got all you guys who support me and I, I love you all. Thank you so much. And so to me, friends, that is true wealth, right? I got my health and I got most of my marbles. <laughs> anyway, folks, look, if you like this video, please press like, please subscribe, and please share it with your family and friends. Remember, sharing is caring. And when life gives you lemons, make yourself a cocktail. Cheers.